Greg Hennis and Steve Severio, we are back at Philly Chevy Giant. It's Gordon Chevrolet on the Boulevard in Bustleton, and as Steve likes to say, in the great Northeast. Steve, before we go any further, let's get your heart pumping. Let's get things going. Give us those magic words. Just do the deal, Philly. Now, Steve, I got a phone call from you last night, and you said, Greg, whatever you're doing, stop it and get here tomorrow morning to see me. So, Steve, I don't know how you're even standing here talking to me. The month has recently closed for August, and we are now talking about a very big weekend coming up this Monday in Labor Day. So I want to know, number one, why I got that emergency call to have me and my team down here this morning here at Philly Chevy Giant. Why? Well, we were here yesterday, last day of the month, Wednesday. We got out of here last night. It was close to midnight. Wow. Okay, some 11, 11.30, quarter to 12, working our last deals. Yesterday was probably the biggest day that I've seen in this store in the years that I've been here as far as selling cars, and we could not get to everybody. So wow. I, I sat here last night with Kevin and the crew, and I said, what a turnout for a month-end finish. It was, it was way, way beyond what we thought. And it just everything went together. People were excited. The rebates were huge. And the, and the incentives that we were offering, the credit amnesty, the trade amnesty, the, the one penny over invoice. And the thing that made the biggest, biggest difference was the two banks that I've been talking about for a while now had made such a big difference in the last three days for my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday sale that I've got them convinced as of yesterday to talk to them and say, would you stay on for another few days until the fifth of the month? Labor Day. Labor Day, because right now, General Motors just recently came out with a four or five day incentive that goes all the way through till Monday that made August look weak. Really? For five days and then they're, they're ended. That's it. And they told me it was over and we're going to do five more days. So I've got to extend this to the consumer. Wow. Get them in here for the next five days. We've got a lot of good things working. Again, we got the credit amnesty. And you've got some extra incentives with that, right? I got some extra incentives with that. I got the banks that told me for the next five days they'll buy deeper than what deeper. they were doing. Deeper. And they continue the mission statement, which is just do the deal. <laughs> they went to your school, Steve. They went to my school. They bought in. They bought in hook, line, and sinker on this, which is going to help everybody get a second chance at getting a new car. Uh, Trade amnesty, again, we just keep rolling on with people wanting these trades. Uh, used car market this year is up 40-something percent, I was reading on ADA. So you've got a huge demand for used cars and very few out there, so people are paying top dollar for them to help people get out of their cars. And we got, we're going to continue to penny over, and I understand some of these rebates that were 1000 and 15 and 2000 are now three and $4,000. They've gotten bigger. They've gotten bigger. And you're still going to do the penny over the line 310 of the factory invoice on any brand-new Chevrolet? Line 310, invoice, factory invoice, one penny over that minus, if the rebate's 5000 you get one penny over invoice minus 5000 For instance, if a car costs me $26,000, you pay a penny minus, if the rebate's 5000 you pay 21000 Wow. The original MSRP in that car could have been 28000 So you're getting eight $9,000 off some of these cars. So it's not only the, the, the penny over invoice, but any factory rebate, any factory incentive comes off that number before you get to the penny over. Exactly. That comes that's off, huge. That, that's, that's huge. That gives the customer, a, in a lot of cases, a 20% 20, 20 savings, maybe even 25 in some cases. Like on some of these bigger trucks, it could be 25%. Right off the top with rebates, penny over, everything included. Now, Steve, here at Philly Chevy Giant, obviously brand new Chevrolets. You've got the less expensive ones. You've got the more expensive ones. You've got the sports cars. You've got the sport utility vehicles. Every single brand new Chevrolet is going to qualify, whether it's a 16 brand new or 17 that is rolling in. You're going to qualify every one of them still at a penny over invoice? At a penny over, it doesn't make a difference. So it's trade amnesty, which means no matter what you want on your trade, you're going to pay it off. Credit amnesty, you're going to find a way to get it done because we all know that Steve does not like to say no. He likes to say yes, do the deal. That's right. And in addition to that, line 310 of the factory invoice, you're going to pay one cent over that. Now, Steve, I'm going to put you to the test one more thing here. The end of the month, you stepped up and you added a little extra sizzle to the deals. 
you added an Xbox or a 50-inch TV included with your purchase in addition to the trade amnesty, credit amnesty, and the penny over invoice. Now, we're talking about a big holiday weekend. Obviously, I would imagine you're going to be cooking up the hamburgers and hot dogs and the savings, but what about their choice of an Xbox or a 50-inch TV? Are you going to include that this Labor Day weekend here at Philly Chevy Giant? I just went out and purchased another 30 to 40 Xboxes and TVs to have for this sale. So they're going to get everything that we've talked about plus, plus, plus either the TV or the Xbox. Their choice. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. It's a Labor Day sale. It's right here at Philly Chevy Giant. It's Gordon Chevrolet on the boulevard right here in the great Northeast. Remember, one penny over line 310 of the factory invoice. Trade amnesty, credit amnesty, and when it's all said and done, your choice of an Xbox or a 50-inch flat screen TV. And remember, when that's all said and done, Steve's going to look at you and say those magic words. I'm cooking hot dogs and hamburgers on Labor Day. <laughs> just change it up, Greg. <laughs> Philly, just do the deal. Hey, guys, what does Steve say? Just, just do, do the deal. deal. Yeah. Just do the deal. Listen, I have Rosa here. She wants to buy a Chevy Traverse. She's got no money to put down. In addition to that, she's got a trade, but she owes no money on the trade. It's a 04 Taurus, and her FICA score is a 487. I need your help. We well, gotta make this we deal. We just got through talking about this. Credit amnesty. We're gonna do credit amnesty on this. Also, she's got a trade, she's and it sounds like she's a little upside down on trade, so we're gonna do credit amnesty and trade amnesty. I would say this, put another three to $4,000 Okay. I'll let you be the judge of that or whatever we need to, 4, to get Rosa out of the car. Okay. Make sure that she's happy with that payment. Okay. That's going to be very important. Okay. And we're also going to do a penny over invoice, which should okay. be very nicely eat up a lot of that negative equity, give them that huge of a discount, and they keep the rebates. That's... <laughs> I don't know what to say. That's incredible. I know this is going to make us do this deal. You know why? I know you just started here, and I want to yeah. tell you, Angelo, he's just started with us a few months back. He's the newest member of my management team. I'm going to tell you, you come in and ask for Angelo, he'll do whatever he has to do all day to make this deal. Also, I want you to know that we speak Spanish here. Se habla hispano aquí. Si usted no habla inglés, puede preguntar para mí, y entonces nosotros lo podemos ayudar en el idioma que usted está cómodo. And I'm going to tell you, Angelo follows me around all day. Steve, I need your help. Can I get this? Can you call the bank for on this? I need extra money on the trade. Can we do this? We got some customers that don't particularly qualify. Can you call the bank for me and get them approved? Nobody, nobody I've ever seen work harder than Angelo getting a deal done for you. I'm going to go tell Rosa the good news that we're going to make a deal and put her in the car of her choice at a payment she can afford. Well, here's what I would do when I go back to Rosa. Congratulations, Rosa. You know what we are? We're the home of what? Just do the deal! Now I got to ask you, Angelo, how do you say those magic words? Just do the deal in Spanish. Hacemos el trato. I think he needs to say it again. What do you think, Steve? Let's say it again. Hacemos el trato. Just do the deal. There are a lot of people out there that are hearing the words credit amnesty and they're saying you know I've had a tough situation maybe they were like that customer you spoke of earlier that worked for a, 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 a place for 17 years and the factory you know moved and, and are just really in a situation where they don't know to go to go where to go to for help but they can come here to Philly Chevy Giant and you're gonna work really hard to help those people aren't you Steve to get them back on the road to get them into a brand new Chevrolet car truck especially with a penny over the factory invoice between now and the close of business Saturday August 27. Get here by Saturday night, and I'm going to tell you, you won't be disappointed. We're going to deliver 60 new Chevys. Yeah, come over here. Come over here. Yeah, come on over here. Steve, I got Miss Johnson at my desk. She's a little discouraged. She has a 2011 Impala, has 116,000 miles on it. I mean, the good part about it is she has four grand down. She's a little upside down, about 10 grand. What can we do to help her? And she's looking at a brand new Impala? Brand new Impala. She heard about the incentives. 16 model. 2016, new body style. Well, the nice thing of that, you've got $3,000 coming back. We're going to do a penny over invoice, so have them recalculate the deal at one cent over invoice. That should give you enough discounts to make up that negative equity. Thank her for her $4,000 down. We're not going to need any more money. And make sure that when we go back, her payment right now is $600 and something dollars on that car. Yes. Make sure that that payment stays at least around 500 to maybe even a little less if you can to help her out. All right? 
Yeah. And what do we do here? Just do the deal, we Philadelphia. Do the deal. Phil. You got to say it like you mean it. Go ahead. Just do the deal, Philadelphia. And hit that gong on your way out. Hit that gong. Hit that gong. Just do the deal. Not 10, not 20, not 30, not 40, not even 50, but Steve, between now and the close of business Saturday, not only is credit amnesty and trade amnesty in effect, but you are putting your money where your mouth is, one penny over line 310 of the factory invoice on any brand new Chevrolet car and truck in stock, but you're gonna sell 60 brand new Chevrolets by the close of business Saturday, and every one of them qualify for the penny, that's right, one cent over Line 310 of the factory invoice. Now, I can't wait to see Kevin's expression when he comes back tomorrow and you share this wonderful news with him. He's going to be horrified. He's going to come back and say, there I go. I leave the store one day, and you and Greg, Steve, end up doing this to me. What in the heck are we going to be able to do now? One cent over invoice. Where are we going to make any money? You know what I'm going to tell him? What are you going to tell him? I need them 60 units. I don't care if we make a dime. I don't care if we lose 100. We're going to make 60 new car deals at whatever cost or loss. Now, Steve, if somebody hears this one penny over the factory invoice, and they say, you know, that, that sounds a little, a, little, a little crazy. Is it for real, Steve? Is it really just one penny over the factory invoice? I mean, you know, you talk about a spark, okay? You talk about an Equinox, you talk about a Malibu, or whatever the, the model, Corvette or Camaro, but especially when you get into the Corvettes and Camaros, and you're talking about a penny over the factory invoice, so people probably come up to you and say, Steve, is that for real? It has to be for real. I'm advertising it. I'm putting my reputation behind it. That it's gonna be one penny over invoice, and you're welcome to look at the invoice, so you know you're getting a good deal. You know that nobody can beat that deal. No how, no way. And you also know that I'm gonna reestablish your credit if that's a problem. That's huge. That's huge. I'm also gonna pay off that trade no matter what you owe, and I'm gonna use the rebates to do that with. It don't get no better than that, Greg. It doesn't, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the bottom line. You come in to Gordon Chevrolet, Philly Chevy Giant. That's at the corner of the Boulevard and Bustleton right here in the Great Northeast between now and the close of business Saturday and come to Gordon Chevrolet, Philly Chevy Giant and find a brand new Chevrolet car or truck, the one that you want. Find that vehicle regardless of your situation and you are going to pay one cent, one penny, over line 310 of the factory invoice. Now, in addition to that, the credit amnesty. Now, Steve, I got to tell you, every day it is amazing to me when I come here to Gordon Chevrolet. I mean, it is hard, don't take this the wrong way, but it's hard to have a conversation with you because you are constantly on the phone working with the banks to get people on the road, to get people behind the wheel where others, you know, may have just, you know, taken the no and the turn down. You're not going to take the no and turn down. You're going to find a way to get those, those lending institutions to buy those deals. That is a credit to you and your staff here at Gordon Chevrolet. What is the secret when, when the other guys are told no, you guys are always told yes? Well, what's the difference here? Why are you the credit amnesty giant? The business starts at the top. If I care, my people care. I'm here right with them. I'm on the showroom floor. I dare you to walk into any of the dealerships in Philadelphia and see if you're going to find anybody in upper management, for the most part, working car deals like I do. I'm calling the banks. I just had a meeting yesterday with uh, one of our local banks, and the first thing we said to them is that we've got this sale coming up. I knew you were coming in, and I said, I'm going to need your help for those five days to buy deep and you're going to have to help me get people down, down the road in the car. And I don't mean it 26% and 22% 23%. I need some credit amnesty. I need to give these people a second shot at a low rate so the payment comes in right and I can get them out of their trades. And they agreed. They said, Steve, for those five days, we're with you. So it's one penny over the factory invoice, line 310 of the factory invoice on any brand new Chevrolet car truck. It's also trade amnesty, which means regardless of what you owe on your trade, they're going to pay it off, and credit amnesty. And yes, sir, Brian. Hey, Steve, I have a question for you. I have Ashley here. She's a fresh college graduate. She has no money to put down, and she's seven grand flipped. What can we do? Can we get her to a new 2016 Malibu? College grad? Yes. Well, guess what? We have a bank. With with us, with General Motors, that has a college graduate program for somebody with the first time buyer. Got to be a college grad. The seven grand flipped, I'm going to work that out. Now what kind of trade has she got? She has a cruise, a 2009. 
2009 cruise. If it's the one I'm thinking of, I've seen it out there. Not to correct you, but I think that was a 2011 that I've seen out there. Okay, 2011 Chevy Cruze. She's $7,000 upside down. Well, guess what? I looked at that car. I noticed Reggie was a little light on the trade. <laughs> now better? Kevin's getting really nervous. Yeah, Kevin's getting really nervous. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and put the extra money on, on that. And what car is she looking to buy? She's looking to get a new Malibu. A new Malibu. Yeah. Okay, we just so happen to have a pretty good size rebate and discount on that. And with the one penny over, I can make up that seven grand pair fairly easy with Ooh. the bank. So as long as I get the bank in line for the financing for the college graduate program, she's going to be an owner. And what we're looking for is that first car that she buys is going to be from Gordon Chevrolet. We hope that that loyalty c comes back. But the biggest thing is, too, we're looking for brand loyalty with Chevrolet. That's why they're one of the fewest manufacturers, one of the few manufacturers that have a college grad program for these kids getting out of school that need their first wheels. So go ahead, put her down the road, keep that payment low. It's going to have to be because you're just going to be starting out in the workforce. You're not going to be able to afford a high payment. Put her down the road and let her know. What do we do here? We just did the do. Say it. Say it. Billy, just do the do. And hit that gong. Hit that gong for your customers. Just do the deal. All right, Steve, so in case they missed the exciting news, you are cooking up lots of stuff this holiday weekend, now through the close of business, Labor Day. September the 5th, you open up starting at 10 a.m. What are the special opportunities that people have when they come here to Philly Chevy Giant between now and the close of business on Labor Day? First of all, you're going to get the best pre-owned car in the city. Best. Best pre-owned car in the city at the least amount of money, first. Second, you're going to get credit amnesty. Well, that's big. That's big with the two banks that we talked about. You're also going to get trade amnesty. And to the best of my knowledge, there's not a lot of people in the city offering trade amnesty, which means they're going to, we're going to get you out of your car no matter what you owe. And you get some tough situations. You get people out of those tough situations every day. Well, the ingredient to that and the solution to all that is aggressive on the trade, being able to put the money on it that the people deserve, getting the bank to step up, advance a little bit more money so we can get them out of the vehicle. And that's the solution for it. So you got to get every, all, all components working for that. And people ask me constantly, how do you do it? People, eight, nine, 10, 11, $12,000 out on their car. We get them out, put them down the road in a brand new car and get them out of that old vehicle. That's huge. Now, penny over the invoice. Any 2016 brand new Chevrolet, any 2017 brand new Chevrolet, all models, right, Steve? Yep. Every one, nothing held back qualifies as long as it's brand new and on the ground. You're exactly right. Doesn't make a difference if it's a Corvette. I don't care if it's a Tahoe LTZ. It makes no difference what it is, no matter how limited I am on some of these cars right now, because we just came off a huge, huge August. Now we're extending this for another five days going into Labor Day. We got limited inventory right now, but we have enough of the right models to be able to still extend this. How does that work, the penny over the invoice, the factory invoice? Is it that easy? Yeah, you take line 310, you add a penny. Make sure I get my penny. You add the penny. <laughs> got to pay the light bill. Got to pay the light bill. You get the penny, and then you minus off all factory incentives and rebates. And, and they just got kicked up a notch. And they just got kicked up, some cases doubled. Wow. Now, Xbox and 50-inch flat screen TV. Is it, you know, you get the trade amnesty, credit amnesty, you know, the penny over invoice or those gifts or how does that work? No, you get all that and you still get either the TV or the Xbox with it. And when it's all said and done, we know what Steve's cooking up now through the close of business Monday, hamburgers and hot dogs. But what else are you cooking up, Steve? The, the, deals. The, month, the deals. The deals through the end of Labor Day, through the end of Labor Day. Credit amnesty, trade amnesty, penny over invoice and your choice of a TV or uh, an Xbox, and I'm doing all the cooking on Labor Day, all the hamburgers and hot dogs. Compliments of Steve. He's, Chef Steve, ladies and gentlemen, it's right here at Philly Chevy Giant. And Steve, when it's all said and done, what's the magic words? Philadelphia, just do the deal, Philly. Just do the deal. Yeah. Just do the deal. Brian. What's up there, bud? How's it doing? Good. good. All right, doing good. Steve, just here to talk about every amnesty. Okay. Everything that he's running, that he's been running. He's been, been with here. you a long time, haven't you? I've been here now going on two years. So I can just, you know, from the front line, being in the cells, working with the people, I can clearly say at the end of the day, it's real simple. He's trying to help people get automobiles. 
No matter what their problem is, what their situation is, he's trying to help you get into an automobile. It's simple. People complicate their problems, but don't do that. Don't sit at home. Don't overthink your issues and try to pinpoint on the commercial which one tells to you. If you need a vehicle, this is the place to come to get a vehicle. Bottom line. Well, let me ask you a couple questions, Brian. You've been here for a couple of years. You see, you see Steve on the showroom floor. Number one, that is very unusual, am I correct, for any dealer to be on the showroom floor closing deals? I tell my customers, that they're, they're beyond shocked when they see them coming through working deals. They, they, that's the first thing they're always saying, like, wow, they really, that nails everything down to what he's saying is true and real because he's actually here. Yeah, because I, I imagine if, if we're being real here, people yeah. probably come up to you and say, he's really on the yeah, showroom floor. I didn't believe it. Yeah, yeah. Is he even here? They walk in going, yeah, well, okay, where is he? Hey, I'm sure he's down the shore. I'm sure he's on vacation. I say, no, he's here. And then before I can even say it, he's walking by somewhere on the phone, working a deal, praising the car. He's here. He's active. Mm. And that just, you know, confirms everything that he's saying already. Now, if somebody comes to, comes to your desk, right, Steve? They come they come to your desk and they get stuck. And, and the management, you know, Kevin can only get them so far. They need that extra little push. Mm -hmm. Is it really common for you to get Steve, get him over to you to, to make that deal uh, come together by, you know, talking to the banks on, on the phone and different things like that? Is that for real? Absolutely. And actually, one step even further, he's actually already one step ahead because he's already inquiring about the deal. He's already at the desk asking what's going on, who's going on. When I get the application, and I walk up there, he's asking who they are, he's stopping his phone calls and inquiring, Brian, what you got going on, how can I help? So he's involved, you know what I mean? So everything he's saying, I mean, it's real. Like I said, you know, this is the place to come get a car. And if you happen to catch him in his office, where is his office located to where we're at? I mean, the funny thing is I never, I've been here two years and I rarely even call him in his office. He's always on the floor. But it's right around the corner, right? It's right around, on the showroom. Yeah, yeah, it's around there, but you know, he's rarely even in there. So yeah, but it's around there. Greg, also let me say this too. When you've got a team to put together, like a great Brian, team, a great team, you got guys like Brian, and and I'll say the same thing about Brian. He cares. He gets a customer at his desk. He truly, truly, and that's why I got him in the first desk. He's at that first desk. As soon as that customer walks through the door, I want him to see Brian first, and then I want him to see Bobby Singleton second. Those two guys do nothing but care about their customers and trying to help them get down the road in a car and get them approved and. Uh, get them as much as they can for the trade, and put the car down the road. And that's what these guys do. He's one of my top salespeople, month after month after month. And why? Because he cares. People can tell if you don't care today. People know when they walk into the store and you greet him, hi, how you doing? You look him in the eye, you know, they know this is the place. It's got a good feel for it, and we're going to sell some cars. And at the end of the day, Brian, you love it when Steve looks at you, looks at the customers, and what does he like to say? Come on, let me hear you say it. Just do the deal. And what else does he like to do? What else does he like to do? He likes to come over here, and what's he like to do? Yeah, he likes to ring that gong. Well, hit it! Hit it! Oh, I'll hit it. I'll hit it. All right. Just do the deal. Brian's a great example of a caring staff here at Philly Chevy Giant. But the bottom line is, it all starts with the top. And I know that, you know, when you talk to your sales guys, you really instill that in people, that not only do you want to treat them great, you want to make them feel like a million bucks, you want to work really hard to get their business with the credit amnesty and the trade amnesty, and then the other exciting things, such as the penny over the factory invoice, line number 310, on the buyer's order. They'll show it to you, they'll show you the invoice, and you will pay one penny over that. But Steve, those are the reasons that I believe that you have really transitioned into Philadelphia Chevy Giant. You don't just, you just don't have that name because it's because of the way you do business and the amount of units you deliver month in and month out. And here it is Philly Chevy Giant, just do the deal.com. It's really going on right here in the heart of the great Northeast at Philly Chevy Giant. Am I correct, Steve? We do every deal. Will you come in here? If we can't put the deal together, nobody can. Now, special sale. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Robert. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Steve, we got Ryan Smith here. He's our second referral of this month, okay? Okay, the referral comes from a city worker. Ryan Smith is also a city worker. He does sanitation. He needs a car. He went through a crazy divorce. He's trying to rebuild his credit. Trying to get everything together. And, and the word on the street, the word in the tri state, is that we can get the job done. So I'll bring you this file to see if you can do something with him. Okay, he has $1,000 down. All right, he's been at the job for five years. Okay, no trade at all. No trade at all, but he's credit challenged a little bit. I see that. Right. He's got one of the lowest beacon scores I've seen. Right. But I'm going to tell you what, because he's a referral, 
and because he's your customer. And again, I think everybody out there heard me when I said Brian Collins, this is Bobby Singleton. They're my bookends. The first people you see is Bobby and, and Brian when they come in through that door. These are the first two guys they see continually month after month after month. Bobby's been with me almost a couple years also. They're tops for a reason. They care. They're from the community and they sell cars. They bring me these deals and they say, Steve, this guy needs some help. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to personally call the bank on this deal. Go ahead and start your paperwork. That's how confident I am we're going to get this guy down the road. All right? And just go ahead. Now, what's those magic words? Just do the deal. Hit that gong. Hit that gong. Just do the deal. One penny over the factory invoice, line number 310. Steve, I've heard of a lot of promotions, but one penny over the factory invoice on any brand new Chevrolet car or truck is absolutely positively unheard of. You're exactly right. And the, the beauty of this is, is that you don't have to take just any car. I've got 400 new Chevys available at 400? a particular time. I've got 250 on the ground, and I've got another 175, which gives me four and a quarter, that will be here. And all of them, nothing is going to be held back qualify. Am I correct? Every single one of them? Every single car. 2017, 2016s. If I had a 2018, I'd give you a penny over. I don't have it, though. But a 2017's brand new. They're going to be a penny over also. What about a brand new Chevrolet car or truck? Say you only have one in that particular package, and it's a really scarce one. Would you sell that vehicle at one penny over the factory invoice? You're absolutely, absolutely. I'll sell that. I'll sell that vehicle. It's not the customer's fault that we only got one. That's our problem. You're going to buy that car. That's the car you want. You're going to home it in a penny over. So to be clear, nothing is excluded on a brand new Chevrolet. One penny over the factory invoice. Voice, line number 310. You're exactly right. And there's not a trade. Not a trade. There's not a trade that I'm afraid of. Really? Put the money on to get you out of that car. So if it's a difference of a few dollars here and there, you're going to step up to the plate. We'll step and up happen. to the plate and make it happen for him. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. We are into the final moments of this sale. Now listen, here's the deal. All day, every day through the close of business Saturday. But when the last customer leaves, and you turn off the light, Steve, it has to come to an end. We are at the end of the month, right? Last Saturday of the month. Last Saturday of the month. I can only run this for so long. I've got the okay from the banks to run it till Saturday night. They're going to stretch on the deals. They're going to have people put aside for us. We're going to have direct lines into the bank. We're going to be that busy. Now, we know at the end of the deal, you want to say those magic words, just do the deal. Real quick, we're almost out of time. Tell us what the promotion items are one more time, starting with credit amnesty. Credit amnesty, no matter what shape you think your credit's in, I probably think it's a lot better than you do. Trade amnesty, no matter what shape your car's in, you think it's a, a wreck or whatever it is, I probably think it's a lot better than you think. All right, I can see through the dirt, I can see through the brakes, I can see through the tires. I'll get all that on there new, I'll sell it on my lot, and I'll get the money for the car to be able to give it to you to get that car paid off so you can get down the road in a one penny over invoice line 310 of the factory invoice. And you want to sell 60 cars between now and the close of business Saturday. We're going to sell 60 cars, and you're right. We just might do 80. As excited as I'm getting right now, I can see it. it, it, it it's flowing. Might, we just might do 80. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about out of time. Remember, it's Philly Chevy Giant. It's Gordon. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yes, Aiden, real quick. We're hey, almost we're, out of time. They're going to give us the hook. Oh, okay. I appreciate you actually giving me a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. Now, I actually want to look at your Katie. I want to say thank you to all those who have come to visit us. Thank you very much. Those who have been able to decide to take the program of us, the amnesty of credit. Remember that we here at Gordon Chevrolet will help you. I personally, as Steve, we are here in the piso, helping all of you. So don't no forget comunidad latina vengan para acá que nosotros estamos listos preparados con el inventario para sus necesidades y lo que ustedes quieran gracias de todos modos a todos los que han venido y los invito a los que no han llegado por favor lleguen aquí que nosotros los vamos a ayudar como Steve dice hacemos el trato I think he just said just do the deal just do the deal all right ladies and gentlemen listen we're out of time Steve credit amnesty trade amnesty and one penny over the factory invoice line number 310 between now and the close of business Saturday correct get here by Saturday evening and let's just do the deal Philadelphia come and, on now and Steve take us home ring the gong we'll see you here remember one penny over the factory invoice it's Philly Chevy Giant, it's Gordon Chevrolet, where Steve says, Just do the deal, Philly! Just do the deal!